to just vibey vibes welcome let's talk about love island episode four okay i'm gonna start with the death with afia because it's the death thing there is a difference between the death that liam had with afia and the death that he had with ekinsu i think the difference is that he did not like afia he liked ekinsu because with afia you can see that she was the one holding the conversation whereas with ekinsu he contributed a lot in the conversation although Ekinsu is also a very good conversationalist. I do like the fact that the two bombshells, they are good at conversing. They kind of bring life. Like, it was really important. Like, this episode was not boring. Like, I had a lot of notes to write. Last time, I think I just had, like, four notes. But this time, I had a lot of notes to write because they were just bringing it, bringing it, and I did not want to forget anything. So, yeah. And then, Gemma and D Davide, there's no eye contact between them. They just seem, it, everything just seemed dead. Even when he, she's like, uh, tell me three things that you like about me. My guy froze. And that was like, then he's like, oh, I'm on a show. I need to say something. And he's like, you're beautiful. You know what you like. And you know what you want and whatever else that he said. So at the end of the day, that was obviously what has never been given. Because their relationship feels like they, they are two beautiful people, but nothing else. And don't want to. And then they had the age conversation. Yeah. I'm going to talk about some things. Like, I'm not going to talk about it the way it happened. Uh, like, it's step by step by step. I'm just going to talk about them together. Now, Gemma has more chemistry with Luca. She and Luca looked at each other in the eyes. Although, I'm not a Luca fan. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Luca is that kind of guy that is going to string the girls along. And they are going to put their egg in, in his basket. In fact, all the egg, possibly. And then he's just going to leave them hanging dry. That is what Luca gives me. He does not give like like Liam. Yeah, I know the girls are not that into Liam. But Liam is... Everybody knows that all his ex is in Gemma. I like guys like that that I know where they stand. I don't like guys that most times you don't know. And you're pulling people. Like, you can say, I like you small. But he's only like, I like you a lot. I like you a lot. I like you a lot. But then, you know what I mean? So, you don't know who he really, really likes a lot. Is like you know, so it's just you always being on your toes. Nah, I don't want to be in a relationship where I'm on my toes. I need to know where I stand. So that's why I feel with Luca. But when it comes to him and Gemma, they have more eye contact. And when they had that, that conversation, then we knew that Gemma's already talked about her dad because she's like, Oh, you play football, but this, that, that, um, uh, racing and all of that stuff. So my dad would like you. So it's like she's looking for who she can take to her daddy. So yeah, so that's how it sounded, but they had more chemistry. That's what I'm going to say. And then, Davide was spooked. That, this was the end anyway, but it, I, as I tell you, I'm just going round. Davide was spooked. My guy was spooked. Because he's like, he didn't talk to me. He would have, I feel like Luca should have talked to him in a way. Because they don't know what they're doing in that house. Like, they talk to people before they do it. At least, that, Davide came in as a bombshell. So, you expect him to talk to everybody. But... Look, if you're interested, you and him talk. Just say, I want to pull Gemma for a child. You told, told other people, but obviously you didn't tell him. So you were wrong on that. And then, um, so then um, they discussed about the age thing. So he already knew about the age. I'm sure the president asked them to talk about it. Everybody's talking about it. Then now she said something that got to me. She said, I've always dated older. Like, the way she said it, I think something like older than you. It sounded like that in a way, but she didn't technically just say that. But I am trying to understand because she says she has not been in a relationship for a year and a half. So that was, that means that she was 17. Everybody has been saying that she was 17 when she was in her last relationship because she's 19 now. My girl, if you were dating people that were older, I don't care, 23, uh, uh, you know, make it make sense or even 27 too by that age. What were you doing? And and you said your last boyfriend, your dad knew him. I need to know that last boyfriend, please. How do we know who the last boyfriend is? How old was that last boyfriend that the dad accepted when his child was 17? If she dated him, if she broke up with him when she was 17, when did that relationship start? Was it when they were 15 or when she was 16? When did it actually start? Because this is just not like I don't know if the processors maybe they made them have that conversation thinking that it's gonna give us something. But we remember everybody has been saying that the last time she was in a relationship was when she was 17 years old. Is all over social media. So she's saying that that was why I clicked it. I would have forgotten that she said it was. I don't remember how long ago that people said their relationship was done with. But she, I remember because everything about her that one is on social media. Okay, then I'm not going to go into the hypocrites. Called Tasha. I know that you guys like Tasha. That's fine. Me, I say things as they are. Tasha, you told Andrew, let's slow things down. Do you regret it now, huh? 
you regret it don't you you were playing the game well playing luca and andrew at the same time but then you're like oh let's slow it down because my guy kind of told it told he told the lie in a way because he's only three people but he did not tell a lie because he told a lie about the top three thing but he didn't tell a lie about this guy not being interested in her because that's what the guy said but anyway tomato tomato that's it tomato <laughs> Tomato, tomato. <laughs> I will keep this one in because it's funny. Anyway, so at the end of the day, yeah, you, you get it. But you told him to slow things down. And now you're mad. What are you mad about? You're mad that the new guys came in and he was on their list. He was on both of them's list. You're mad that Paige now is showing him attention, mad attention. Because Paige is like, I'm not following Luca and sink in that ship. I'm going to jump across and go to a different ship. Now you're mad about that. Like, what are you mad about? Like, I know girls do this a lot. They want to be doing ping pong, ping pong between two guys. Or even show a guy don't interest anybody. And they want the guy to just be putting, they'll be following them like, mm, like be putting all their eggs in one basket for what? Now you, they ask you who, uh, a question I think, like boyfriend material or something. You went over to Luca. But then they ask him wife material, and then when they ask, okay, no, it was Paige as wife material, she went to him. I know why she did that because Luca has been acting like a kid in candy store. Oh my god, he likes um what's her name? Ekinsu. It was all about Ekinsu, honestly. When when they, the two girls came in, it was Ekinsu, Ekinsu, Ekinsu. I know that she does have, I think they both have good personality and they are both beautiful. For me, Ekinsu has a pretty face, and that's where it ends. And um and obviously a good personality i like her personality a lot but then um afia has a good pers a pretty face too yeah and good personality so they kind of have similar but you can see that these guys are not used to colored girls they call it colored girls or brown skin girls whatever black girls mixed girls they're not because for some reason um i don't want to talk about race this year because it's like a broken record but for some reason we all know to me india is the most beautiful girl there second to Gemma. And then third to amber that is how i see honestly that's my beauty radar for the girls in the house but for some reason india and amber don't even get talked about the only two guys that are interested in both india and amber is um what's his name ikena and dami i don't know dami has not said his top three so i don't know where he stands but i know ikena has put india and amber in it so that is it so the other people is like they don't even see them like they're not even in existence there they're like friends more but not like you know relationship kind of stuff so i don't know fia is interested in Iken now we'll see how that goes and Ikena seems like he's dressing hard he had better chats because Af afia is a talker like she's a good conversationalist she's going to start a conversation she's going to hold a conversation now the thing with um what's her name india is like she would keep a conversation if the conversation comes or she's not going to start it she's not going to force the conversation keep like, i fear i would not notice that she's the only one talking if if need be so she's going to like you know she has this lively spirit that's going to make you start talking so i do feel like honestly i fear nikki are a good match but i don't I, I don't want india to go home so i don't know what i feel i do feel like india and nikki might have a bit of i don't know if now it might not be that india is actually interested in nikki like might just be that now she's seen that there's no other person there you know, I feel like as a black girl, most of the times, even Amber has said it, um, and I said it as a, a um, no, you know, a colored people. I don't know, is colored the right word to use? Honestly, I don't know. I might be using the wrong term, but you kind of stand notice people of color. Yeah, you start noticing that when you go to Love Island, nobody's interested. You start making you feel like, come, oh, am I not the girl that I think I am? I'm uh, in uh, Anna and you one day they said these things. I I remember. Anna and Amber talking about it in their um, interview with uh, Murad. So I know this for a fact. So, you know, the few weeks nobody's talking to you. So maybe that's why now she's not leaning towards because it's like, this is the only person that I have attraction with. Let me try and see if we can build something. And maybe now other people be interested in him, give you jealousy. You might not be too attracted to someone, but you might still feel jealous just the way. And this girl that is telling him, Andrew, wait, Andrew is not the one. Oh, the kiss is not his kiss is not giving me. He's not a good kiss. The kiss I was not the kiss was not that good. I prefer the kiss with Luca. I felt more thing with him. Now that all the girls are into Andrew, she's like, I'm jealous. You're jealous. What are you jealous about? You're just a hypocrite. Because all of a sudden, you were there going for Luca, but he cannot go for Paige. Please. I think that him and Paige should even be together. Because Paige is a level headed person. And the one thing is this, right? I like all the girls, and it seems like a girl is gonna go 
on Sunday and I don't want any of the girls to go. So I have a problem, guys. They're telling me. I, I said yesterday that I don't mind the two girls coming in, but they came in, they brought something to the villa. And the villa has been a snooze fest. It's been uh, Love Island made in Chelsea because it has been so uh so snoozy like awkward silences just rubbish like good good looking people good personality individually but together they were just like what is happening like dead things like i said according to amber rose jill so at the end of the day i was not feeling them but now i'm feeling it because those two girls they brought life into the villa i'm not gonna lie and Gemma are going to look at they might make a better couple and i would like to see this guy and davide is spooked i would like to see that so that's good like to see how he's gonna react by next episode so everything now is looking better than it was before so um Obviously, Gemma also was rattled. Everybody that was feeling themselves, they had to start thinking, come, hmm, maybe I need to sit up. So, um, I can say, I didn't see you guys cuddling and she doing breakfast for the guys and all of that stuff. That is kind of cool. And, um, and then I like Dami because Dami is a voice of reason. I know that maybe they're not trying to edit him that way much, but he's always given to me because he went to her, to Tasha and he told her, you did this so you maybe he just didn't ask repercussion because at the end of the day you cannot be showing a guy like i'm not interested in you and expecting to be chasing you so you also do why are you worried you did it it's tooth for that tit for that rather <laughs> tooth for that oh god uh real self of dubai has put me with tooth for that anyways tit for that either also and also he actually likes page page is on his top three list so that was it i like the father india said no competition because girl remember who you are always like always but like the father she called afia that is because afia is the one that wants her man so or the man that she's coupled up with because nobody has a man yet so that is that for this episode it was a lot i am enjoying this one and i cannot wait for next week and um, tomorrow one and sunday too because sunday will be the dumping oh god can they just bring two guys in can they bring two guys like on friday can they bring two oh, no it will be too late it's a girl that's going home, isn't it? I don't know who I want to go home. I don't want nobody to go home. So this is really, really not a good position for me. Anyway, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.